Well, absolutely. That was <laughs> uh, called it. Back in Grey. <laughs> Uh, no, it's called, band, it was called uh, KCPC. Uh, <laughs> Look at that! If you like that, there, there could have been that tune, couldn't it? I bet that was, uh, you know, that was basically. So it didn't do that. It went. See, I can't play. And that I bit. even, I even messed up. I played wrong, so I played, I played this and stuff. Ah. But it's you know so it came, it went from that and, and then from Angus went no 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 how about this and we went no 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 and then how about that. this and they went I can't play it because hey, we might get sued Pete yes we have only got <laughs> three seconds to this video so what's the difference between this range and last year's uh, SG Standard and SG Tribute. Oh, let me just think. I looked it up earlier. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Is that because, like, why change a good thing? Or is that just because, like, can't be bothered? Is this the same, though? No. I think perhaps that's a change. I think last year the standard came with a hard case and the tribute came with an inferior bag. And oh, this so the, year the, now the black with the white interior? I think so. I think so. I could be wrong. I mean, so, um, I t this, I'll take this bag over a case any day. So look, Ooh, I dare say that we we jest and potentially, you know, maybe there's just a, there's a good thing and why change it? So there are some other things in the SG range ah! that we shall get to in another video that are a bit more interesting because there is this idea of the 61 SG is back now. So you've got it as a standard back version <laughs> with the smaller kind of I think they call it like a bat wing scratch plate. So yes. you've just got the scratch plates this yes. just that sort of half, uh, and then you've got the two versions with uh, trem systems on one with a Maestro, one with a Brola. Uh, they're great. They were heavily pre-ordered off of our first delivery, so we didn't have any to do no. any videos. So we're just no. doing... Oh, and there's also an SG Modern, which is, again, a little bit like the Les Paul model in that it's taking some flavour from last year's SG High Performance, but, yes. uh, but like, toned down. So the bits we liked, they've kept. The bits we don't like... Off they, they go, go and they did. Uh, they've done. Uh, but that's another video. P ninety one. The which is also exactly the same as last year's P ninety one. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I like that one. The blue one looks naked. Great. You've got a P ninety thing going on. Mr. I'm, Pete. I'm, I'm digging a P ninety. All I can say to you guys that uh, are bored of watching Gibson videos, at least you've got a fast forward button. <laughs> so look, let's take you through the basic specs anyway, because I know you want to know. So the tribute is a more affordable. Um, SG, mahogany body. Mahogany. Maple neck. Yeah, you can sell. I apologise in a previous video about Gibson Les Paul somethings about saying that they had mahogany that necks was when tribute. they had... Double was it the cock. tribute? I'm guessing all the tributes in this Gibson range are this kind of idea of maple mahog. Mahog. Um, you've got the... Syrupy. Clues on uh, style vintage tuners. Did I say rosewood fret? But I think I did enough. No binding. It's a big cost saving by not putting binding up and down. Time the neck. and um, uh, yeah. dotty inlays. Um, Hello, dotty. No pickup covers, but the same pickups are on there. So 490D, 490R. Uh, those are the sort of, I think they came out in the 70s, designed to be a sort of a slightly more oof version of a Boosh. sort of PAF. Um, Nashville bridge and tailpiece. Two volumes, two tones. Um, you know what I was saying earlier? That... I was saying about the these being very close on the Firebird. This mm. is actually the same here, isn't it? I think this is the same config inside I think of I think the you're cavity. Just picking holes in... <laughs> unnecessarily. I'm going to look up. Am I picking holes? The... Am I? Am I, I picking holes that... in it? I well, know how, everybody's how gone about. You, how oh, big you are your like, fingers? You don't like. How big? I mean, you would have to have some right old chubbers. Yeah, but the... to, uh, <laughs> yeah, but look here. You like you're right next to the that's to the an thing. issue. But I'm, I'm you know, Why don't you have a right having... angle jack in there then. People were having goes at me for having uh, uh, not liking the the split coils. It's not. You know what I mean? In the other videos, it's not that I don't like it. I think it just suits some other some guitars better than others, and some pickups suit suited to be split. You know what I'm saying, Lee? I do know I what you're saying. Being and split. You, so the you, modern uh, was great. The Gibson modern was great. The classic I, maybe not so great for splitting the pickups. So separate. I am trying to find. Here we are. Here we are. So that's classed as a rounded neck profile. This is classed as a rounded neck profile. Feel like, so they're, feels they're a bit, the feels same. A bit little flattened the same. Literally, then, just, it's just. No, that's the same. It's just the same it? guitar. So let's God, give you some my hands tones like, with no pedals. Song. This is a songs yeah. pedal. Uh, section of the demo. <laughs> Songs pedal alert. <laughs> 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 
I can't think of many players who, who play totally clean on the SG. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, obviously, Angus Young's probably most famous, but, you know, Tony Iommi, Derek Trucks, Frank Zappa, Eric Clapton. Oh, uh, who's, a, who's a real famous clean SG player? Maybe there are none, but I'm not sure. Lenny Kravitz used to play an SG, or he's probably played everything. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, he's Here's played. What it sounds like clean. Avec non le pedal. <laughs> <laughs> What are you trying to do? I'm trying you to make you not play a G chord. What amp are you in? I was trying to go, and you're going to say, "Oh, I am in a." I am in a Fender bass breaker. Yeah. We've got volumes and tones. No, uh, you got coil tappage. I don't suppose you have on there. But I hope not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You shouldn't do. No. 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 That must be the modern ones. Must have it. So here we go. Some little rolling off the tone. I can't play jazz. Uh, middle position with no tone. I was listening, well I said I was listening, uh, Justin <laughs> Sandico showed me on YouTube a clip of a guitar player called Justin Lang, real jazz, young guy playing mega jazz stuff. like Justin all, Lang? Justin Lang, L-A-N-G-E. But he was playing jazz with a, like a 51, Telecaster, no caster, with on the neck pickup with all the treble rolled yeah. off. And oh, it was no, oh, yeah, so jazz. Justin, that's But yeah, so you could play, you know, I'm guessing you yeah, can just roll the tone off anything. Player. It's just jazz. <laughs> uh. Here's some clean sounds with no pedals. Here we go. There we are, nice clean sound. Fender bass breaker amplifier, no pedals. Uh, you know who you are. With a pedal. No! Sacre bleu! Sacre bleu! <laughs> So that's great, the man. end of my uh, little demonstration of the tribute. You only have two decisions to make if this is the guitar you like. Do you go cherry like her lipstick or brown like her hair? <laughs> what? What do you do? Oh, there do you? we are. <laughs> what two SGs are you growing? Is this called ebony? Yes. It is, isn't it?
Well, that's an interesting one. Gibson, as long ago as I can remember, have never called their guitars black. They've always called them ebony. Wow. And they, but they do call them, do they call them white or do they call them ivory? I think they call them white. I don't, I don't know, know, man. I anyway. don't know, but these are great colors. I really like this, man. I think they're great. I would rock out on these all day long. That's probably the second most famous Gibson guitar in the universe, isn't it, really? The Cherry Red SG? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it is, it is. If you only had a big master, plug it in there, wireless system, shorts on, full speed ahead. You could be in, a, you could be in a, a Frog Leap video I dressed could like a frog, that if you yeah, I to. could do. Playing a Telecaster. <laughs> <laughs> you did, didn't you? I did. I you did. did. I did. Anyway, so the whole difference, the only difference, or is, is there any difference? <laughs> <laughs> so the difference between these two is that this is lacquered, right? Yes. The machine heads, Grovers. They are. Covered. Pickups, same pickups as yours. Binding. Binding. And trapezoids. In lele's. In, <laughs> in lele's. Lele. <laughs> so, and that's it, basically. Shape and of trapezoid. Lele. lele. Man, this video is going, it is going, going places. Seriously, I, we are So, in a mess. I'm just going to give you some, some quick clean, clean tones. tones as well. You play a G chord, so I'm going to play a C chord. <laughs> Have you got any pedals on? <laughs> no, oh, good. I've got okay. no pedals on. There's no pedals on there at all. It's straight into the V140 <laughs> Victory Deluxe Thank from you. Victory. Can I switch to the middle? Switch to the it's so I mean, I mean, it's just a guitar, isn't it? Sounds great. It just sounds good. Sounds yeah, it's great. It's got a little bit of a grit on the on the just a little bit of a. Hair. Do you think so? I like Tiny it though. bit from the. I like it. I'm really so I'm gonna put a pedal okay. on here and then do just it. do a G chord. That sounds good, man. Sounds It needs more gain. It needs more gain. I hate saying yes. it. I never say it needs more gain. But, but it here does. we go. When Clapton did that, he, when Clapton was playing with the. Uh, Hello, you can hear me in the pickups. Two, three. Tone. I, I love it by rolling the, the tone control off on the back pick like that. I should playing some Tony Iommi on this so one. So that's now, basically that's all your gain from that's three different gain stages yeah. plus the tone rolled all the way back and it sounded wicked. Yeah, this is without uh, any of the gain. And then you put the black box, the boost from the Dane and the drive from the Dane. That's 
awesome. I, it's that tone, isn't it? It's I just awesome. remember that tone. So that's anyway. the standard. Uh, the standard, uh, similarly, is a nice, simple choice. You just have uh, shiny black yep. or shiny red. Shiny black, shiny, shiny red. Shiny red with a see-through grain. I yep. It's interesting. Can you, as a final final thing, give it's us a... It's a mahogany neck, though. It is mahogany it's neck. It's a mahogany neck, though. Mahogany it's neck. a mahogany neck. No. <laughs> so we've got two guitars here that are no. uh, componently uh, slightly different, but with the same pickups on. Can we just have a, a <laughs> on that and a minute, but th all through your rig? Just we'll completely just have, clean. Just completely clean. Okay, so uh, here we go, all full. La, 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 la. Oh! Pickups might be a little bit higher up on this one. A bit but brighter. It's, it's brighter, but, but that might be the lacquer. Control test. Control test. Here we go. You ready? And now try the black I one. He just come out of the box, so it might be slightly out of tune. I do apologize for the, that. The, the two tributes sound the same, yeah, I but think. No, and, the, the, and, the, the, and the shiny one sounds a bit the, sort of like... The brown one seems to have a little bit more, but the... the um, the pickup looks higher in that one there. So let's try this one. Everything on full. Here we go. See, I think the two shiny ones sound similar and the two not shiny ones sound similar. I still think but, the red one hey, sounds best. The red shiny one. Well, it's the best color. Yeah. There we are. I, I didn't play some uh, prove anything. On this, I? You should. Really, but I cannot. And I will not. You're not because sure. Because then we get sued. These are eight ninety nine, oh. and those are eleven ninety nine. And did we tell them this? They both yes, we come did. with we did. We did. a we beautiful did. jumbo Gibson hot dog. Mm. <laughs> anyway, That's a great idea. I've been the captain. No, I've been Dave Speed. We'll see you next time. <laughs>